All right. Good evening, everybody. Uh, it's April 13th, the middle of April now. Can you believe it? Uh, it's about time, I guess. I Oh, I'm just counting down the days to the end of the semester, so energy levels are a little bit low, but we'll try to we'll try to make our way through tonight. Um, I do hopefully have a pretty good break uh, lined up for tonight. Uh, we've got uh, on tap for Breakers Club. We've got six more packs of the uh, Victory Box, which we've been working our way through. So many cards in that box, uh, and then we're also going to get a big chunk of cards, 240 of them, uh, in fact, out of the Fleer Focus Jersey Edition. This is a 2002. Uh, box promises a memorabilia card, one in 24 packs, and prospects, one in four packs, and there's 24 packs in here um, uh, in total. So we should be getting a relic uh, out of that. And then we also have this box of Topps Gallery uh, from 1996. And honestly, I don't know anything about this set. Um, saw it for a somewhat affordable price and decided that why not? Uh, don't get a lot of early to mid 90s stuff but decided i might as well might as well try that so hopefully that'll be fun for, for the uh, breakers club so that's what we have on tap for the breakers club uh, itself and then of course we have some bonus packs to throw in so i've got one more pack of these sort of clear uh, cellophane not quite sure where they came from um i mean this one came from rod uh, who i mentioned sent a bunch of bonus packs to me to use for group breaks um but I don't know where he got them from. It's kind of weird that they're clear packaging. So we've got one of those. And then to spice things up a little bit, I also uh, was able to acquire a rack pack of 2020 Tops Gallery. So since we're doing an old 1996 gallery, I thought it might be fun to also include this. Um, this is a retail pack, but there is a chance for relics and stuff like that. And then last but not least, um, I have no idea what this is. It is called Baseball Treasure. I uh, tried to read the pack. Don't know much about it. Um, it says 30 stars, 30 coins. It's a 2018 pack, and it says hunt for real gold and silver coins. Um, yeah, that's that's all I know about it. I uh, think this was – I don't even exactly know how I ended up with this pack. Uh, I want to say it might have been like a bonus from a Dave and Adams order a while ago. Um and the only thing the back says is uh, chances of getting a silver coin are 1 in 432, and the chance of getting an Aaron Judge gold rookie coin redemption is 1 in 21,600. So we probably don't want the redemption at this point since it's a 2018, but who knows. So I know nothing about this, but thought it'd be a fun um, bonus pack, which is, which is the idea. So uh, we're going to get going. Uh, let's start with the... Uh, one that we can see two of the players out of the like five or so that are in here. We can obviously there's Carlos Quinton and on the back we've got Evan Gaddis for the Braves. But we'll ju uh, jump into this one first while people kind of filter their way in. We've got about five, four or five people, five people it looks like now have made their way in. So welcome to those of you that are here. Thanks for hanging out with me tonight. Hopefully we have a fun night. So I got Carlos Quinton, as I said, for the Padres. Nick Tropiano, rookie for the Astros. We've got a Add card, uh, Trevor May, rookie for the Twins, and Evan Gaddis, future stars for the Braves. So there's your first bonus pack. Uh, I'm going to open those next, but let's open the victory because I think we've seen a lot of victory. Um, obviously, this was a box designed for uh, you know lots of base cards for everybody, which has certainly worked out. You should see my stack of cards um, that I've started to sort for all the teams. Uh, nice size stacks for everybody, and we're only about halfway through the Breakers Club, so plenty of good stuff yet to come. But with that said, let's jump right in here. We've got Randy Velarde for the Athletics, Todd Hollinsworth, Chan Ho Park, a couple of Dodgers back-to-back -back there, Chuck Knobloch. That's an interesting photo of Knobloch. BJ Surhoff for the Orioles. Darren Dreifer, another Dodger. It's a third Dodger in this pack. And on the back of that, Will Cordero as uh, a pirate. He's pictured, pictured, yeah, pictured as an Indian, but it is a Pirates card. I have found much easier to sort these by the back because there's quite a few players that are pictured for one team, but the card is actually for a different. Kent Bottenfield, Joe Randa for the Royals. Pedro Astacio. Another Dodger, Sean Green. So many Dodgers. There's our one per pack Griffey. 
Uh, yeah, another Big Mac, and our junk card is a Babe Ruth. Bat, not a Babe Ruth. Card, Babe Ruth bat. I'll specify. Next for the Royals, Jose Rosado, Pat Burrow, victory rookie for the Phillies. Stat leaders, there's an actual Maguire card for the Cardinals. Henry Rodriguez, Robin Ventura for the Mets, Kareem Garcia for Detroit, first Tiger, I think, Kevin Young, Pirates, Russ Davis, Mariners, He's also stick a little bit, Jermaine Dye, Royals, uh, Ismael Valdez, Cubs, John Halama, Mariners, there's our Griffey looking, what did you do, get him in the subway or something? Some back alley. Don't know what's going on in that photo. Big Mac and Babe Ruth back card again. Next pack. Again, we're going to do six of these. Uh, and then we've got, I think, yeah, we've got two more evenings after this one. Uh, we'll have six more victory in each of those two uh, nights. So I've kind of blocked everything out that way. Mike Hampton, Mets, Doug McCavich, Twins, Troy Percival, Angels, Orlando Palmero, Angels, Omar Dahl, Diamondbacks, Doug Glanville, Phillies, Juan Pena, rookie, Red Sox, another rookie, Jeff Williams for the Dodgers. I don't never heard of him. Greg Vaughn, uh, pictured as a red, but going to the Devil Rays. Ray's logo on the back. Again, gas sort these from the back. Ben Davis, Padres. Brian Bohannon, Rockies. There's a much nicer Griffey card than the last one. And we've got Big Mac, and we've got a Giant shirt. So good evening to those that are kind of finding their way in tonight. Uh, glad to see decent turnout for a Tuesday night. Certainly having fun with the Breakers Club. Uh, I am curious, now that we're about halfway through, this would be the time where I should start looking for new boxes for a uh, future edition of Breakers Club. So I would love to hear, one, if people would be interested in me doing another Breakers Club. Um, would certainly include some 2021 product. I think Gypsy Queen might be coming out soon. I haven't looked at the, the time release, but uh, basically sets that would be coming out in uh, like end of April, May, maybe beginning of June would be the time frame. Uh, Top Series 2 might be in there as well. I'm not sure when that's released. Um, so we'd have some new stuff and then, you know, try to mix in some old stuff. So if you have any thoughts on that, let me know. Um, I, if we want to run a third edition of the Breakers Club, I need to start finding some boxes. And right now card prices are outrageous. So uh, the, the sooner I can start looking, the better. Tony Fernandez, Blue Jays. Expos, Brad Fulmer. Hey, there's Barry Larkin for my Reds. Pretty sure I have that card, but I'll always take in Larkin. Uh, Rod Barajas for the Diamondbacks. Tim Hudson, Athletics. Jeff Kent, Giants. Big Play, Chipper Jones for the Braves. I do like the big plays. Uh, Ryan Roop for the Rays. Albert Bell for the Orioles. Eddie Perez for the Braves. Randy Wolf as a Philly. There's our Griffey. And Big Mac and Mickey Mantle back card. <laughs> Second. Yeah, so let me know if you have any thoughts on uh, another edition of Breakers Club. Uh, try with try with that. Yeah, I would try to keep costs, um, you know, per per team like I did last time. Uh, that seems to be pretty much a, a pretty good spot. If I can sell enough teams, we can obviously get a ton of boxes like I did this time. Francisco Cordero for the Rangers. There's a nice kind of interesting A-Rod. Uh, he was Joey Bell first, I do believe. Steve Paris. I think all the old cards just say Joey. Ruben Mateo. Josh Beckett, probably a pretty good rookie there. Daryl Kyle, Mike Lowell, Marlins, Mike Soraka, White Sox, 
Angels team leader. Rookie of Roosevelt Brown. I remember that guy. He was supposed to be pretty good. I think he ever mind a whole lot. Big play, Randy Johnson. Talked a bunch about Johnson. Uh, there's another junior. That's a pretty nice one, actually. Our Big Mac. And our junk card is yet another Yankee. A lot of Yankee giveaway stuff for those uh, ad cards in this set. And final pack of this. And then we'll get to a couple of the other bonus packs. I'm very curious about that coin pack. Uh, let's see here. Vernon Wells for Toronto. John Lieber, Cubs. Ray Ordonez, Mets. Corey Koski, Twins. Marvin Bernard, Giants. Brian Jordan, Braves. Eli Marrero, Cardinals. Um, Mark Kotze, Marlins. We have a red stat leader, William, Scott Williamson and Sean Casey. Tells you all you need to know about the Reds. Edgar Martinez. Uh, that was a Mariner. Uh, Tony Bautista, Blue Jay. There's our Griffey. Big Mac and a Dodgers giveaway thing. All right, so that's your uh, daily dose of Upper Deck Victory. Next up, our last two bonus packs. I know, so many Yankees. Ben, I'm glad to hear you like the Breakers Club. I, I like not having to deal with sign-ups every week, so I've made that uh, uh, no secret. Um, a little bit more stress trying to trying to make it work out. So this is our this is our baseball treasure, and we got I guess the guy that everyone's looking for, Aaron Judge. This does not appear to be one of those super rare gold ones to me, because uh, I believe they're redemptions. But that is Aaron Judge. Kind of looks like a giant penny. Uh. So it's in the super thick cardboard sleeve. I presume you could pop that coin out if you wanted to. I will not be doing that. So there you go. Baseball treasure. Got the uh, got the judge. Uh, 30 stars, 30 coins. I didn't even look at the checklist. Don't know who's on it. But Aaron Judge is the one they advertise as like the, the main draw. So that's cool. Uh, let's see. Yankees, Yankees, Yankees. Who has the Yankees this time? Oh, I'm looking at my list and I can't even find the Yankees listed. Jordan. Jordan has the Yankees. Be confused with the various group breaks I do. Yeah, there you go, Jordan. That's kind of, kind of neat. It's different. It's very heavy. It's got a lot of heft to it. I will, I will tell you that. In fact, I can tell you exactly how heavy he is because my postage scale is right here. It is 1.3 ounces. So that card alone, 1.3 ounces. That will cost you $2.99 to mail in a bubble mailer or something like that. Uh, I thought that Tops did have exclusive rights. Um, I wonder, though, if this is considered not a baseball card. Like, it's advertised as a coin. So maybe Tops did not have exclusive rights for coins. I mean, because people can make hats and people can make, you know, other T-shirts and other products that have the logo on it. So I wonder if it's if this was very carefully marketed to not be a baseball card because it just clearly says one coin per pack. So that's my guess. But that's a good question, Brian. All right, our other bonus pack. I went uh, more interesting on the bonus packs today. Uh, I've had this pack of 2020 Topps Gallery sitting around uh, waiting for Breakers Club, and I thought tonight would be the perfect night to use it since... We're doing a box of 96 Tops Gallery as well. But let's see if I can't get into this pack. I have to bust off the scissors. Oh, there we go. 
So this is retail. Uh, see, don't steal it. But there's a chance for uh, something cool, I guess. Okay, so we start with Jose Barrios. There's a Dustin May rookie card for the Dodgers. Lance McCullers Jr., Houston. Jesus Lazardo, rookie for Oakland. Colin Moran for Pittsburgh. Nelson Cruz. We have a rookie of Nico Horner. This is the Gallery Heritage insert. The back of that looks like. Uh, Patrick Sandoval, rookie. This is one of the wood grain parallels. Should mention that. We also got Tommy Conley. Conley? Connell? I don't know. Uh, Jordan can correct me on that one. Wood grain parallel for the Yankees. The Yankees doing well in the early going today. Nolan Arenado. Uh, nice Aristides Aquino rookie. I'll take that. And another Yankee, Mike King rookie. So there's your bonus packs for the night. Again, that being the 2020 gallery. All right. Uh, let's do let's do the gallery first. Kane Kaneley Conley Conley. Yeah, I've got Kaneley and Conley. All right, everyone's saying Conley. I'll forget. I will completely forget the next time I pull that guy, but we'll uh, we'll do our best. Well. Yeah, Jordan. Nothing. Nothing. Twenty twenty was in retail for more than about you know a minute. I happened to get lucky one day. Um, I live I live in a very rural area. Um, that, that's the nicest way I can put it. And there aren't very many baseball fans near me for for ages. I could go to Walmart and they would always have baseball cards. Um, and that only changed honestly in the last like maybe six months or so we were way behind the where's the empty box we were way behind the curve in terms of people hoarding baseball to get there and um you know get occasional bonus packs and things like that for quite a while uh but now i can't anymore now i can't last time i went there there was not a single card pack to be to be had All right, so we've got uh, a bunch of packs. Um, promises eight super premium cards per pack. So we'll be the judge of that in just a second. Uh, and like I said, I don't know the first thing about 96 Gallery. I don't even know if I have seen these cards before. I mean, I'll be able to tell you when I open a pack. No, no, nope, this, this does not ring any bells to me. So here's our first pack. We've got a Darren Dalton. So we're going to get some of the uh, classic players here from the 90s. Uh, subscript the Masters, but I believe it's just part of the base set. 96, probably too early for short prints, right? I don't know. I didn't look at the checklist. Like I said, I'm a, I'm a bad host. I, I like to just be surprised as we go. Hey, Adam, glad you could... Uh, Glad you can make it. Glad everyone can make it. We got a good turnout tonight, actually. Up to 11. That's that's pretty high for a Tuesday night, I feel like. Vinny Castillo. Rockies. The backs are kind of... I, I like these. These are nice. Jeff Supon. The Futurist. This would be like your, I guess, your rookies. They sort of look like a cross between Stadium Club and something else. I'm not sure what the other thing is yet. Roberto Hernandez for the White Sox. First red, Reggie Sanders. We've got a Jim Edmonds. It's got a stamp on it. P player's private issue. That is numbered. <laughs> well, it, it's... I've never seen that before. It's just numbered 450. I don't know. I'm not sure... I've never seen that before. It's not like, you know, 
450 out of 500 or it's just this is card 450. it's got a gold numbering down there it is a parallel so that's that's different uh mickey tettleton rangers and denny nagel so yeah each of the like subsets are different like those are the classics and they have the same design and then what they call the masters has sort of the artistic frame around sort of part of it um so yeah it, it, i don't know if you call it a franken set exactly or else maybe just a, a set that's basically made of a bunch of subsets all like i don't know some of the early score sets this is just a higher quality set yeah, I, I'm going to have to look online when I do the uh, recap for this to see what these player issues were supposed to be out of. Like, I thought, well, maybe there's like the ink, but I don't, there's no other, um, there's no sign as I try to hold it in the light that there would even be a number there. So, no idea. All right. We've got for our next pack, Kenny Lofton. That's a pretty neat picture, actually. Uh, for the Indians, Jeff Cirillo, Brewers. Michael Tucker, Royals. Glenn Allen Hill for the Giants. There's a Juan Gonzalez for the Rangers. The backs of those look like pretty nice. A lot of information on those. Jay Buhner, Seattle. Jim Tomei, Cleveland. And Greg Vaughn as a Brewer. Uh, Pack say to look for... Mickey Mantle masterpieces as well, along with photo. Let's see here. We've got Expressionist or 1 in 24, Photo Galleries 1 in 30, Mickey Mantle masterpiece 1 in 48, and Player Private Issues are 1 in 8. All right, we've got an answer. Ben Morris, the front run is out of 999. That would make sense. They're seeing one and eight according to the pack wrapper, so they can't be too rare. So this is, I guess, 450 out of 999. All right, we'll take it. Chili Davis, Angels. Jim Edmonds, also for the Angels. Billy Wagner, Houston. Trevor Hoffman, San Diego. That was a very professorly looking Greg Maddox. For the Braves, Rafael Palmero, Orioles, Robin Ventura, White Sox, and there's a Yankee, Bernie Williams. These are nice cards, I will say that. And they have nice thickness. I will give it to Tops. They claim that the uh, the uh, cards are super premium, and you know what? I agree. These are nice. Mark McGuire with the mullet looks like to me they're very glossy alex gonzalez uh paul wilson for the mets greg jeffries phillies we've got dennis eckersley speaking of mullets trying to get the light to not catch that too bad for you john franco uh for the mets devin white blue jay and hal morris for the reds Yes, okay, so the cards were just, so I, I don't know if the chat always shows up after the um, video, like when it's no longer live, so Ben Morris has reported back that the couple scans on TCGB that have been done uh, seem to be in the same form as ours, that is to say they just show the number, but not out of 999. So I guess Topps was trying to save some gold foil back then. Mark Pia uh, Mike Piazza, excuse me. For the Dodgers, and then Mark Grace for the Cubs. We have a Futurist of John Wasden for Oakland. Bobby Jones, Mets. Mo Vaughn, Red Sox. Mickey Tettleton, Rangers. Bobby Bow for the Orioles. And Jeff King for the Pirates. Uh, if you haven't seen this set before, I think you guys are going to be happy with these cards. They're very nice. I'm impressed. I forget what this box costs now. It's been so long since I since I bought all these, but I feel like it was worth it. 
Roger Clemens, Boston. David Cohn, New York. Mark Loretta, Milwaukee. Doug Drayback, Houston. Tony Gwynn, the Masters for San Diego. Roberto Alomar, Toronto. Carlos Baerga, Cleveland. And Ruben Sierra, also for the Yankees. So that's a quarter of the box right there. Not a lot of inserts to be uh, found. That's uh, for sure. These are mostly you're buying it for the base cards. Fred McGriff, Atlanta. Jason Isringhausen for the Mets. Tony Clark, Tigers. Terry Steinbach, Oakland. Chili Davis, Angels. JT Snow, Angels. Mel Rojas, Expos. And Bobby Bonilla as an Oriole. We just pulled it, Bobby, but was it the same card? Yeah. So we're getting some duplicates already. That's kind of a bummer. All right. Wade Fisher says, Baseball Carpedia says the first 100 private issues were given to the players, and the last 400 were destroyed. So only, well, yeah, so cards 101 to 599 is basically what you're looking for. Hmm. Well, that's interesting. So player's private issue is actually like a legitimate name naming convention here. Kirby Puckett, Twins, Sean Green, uh, Toronto. Kareem Garcia, Dodgers. We've got a photo gallery series winner, David Justice. That's one of the inserts to look for. I like the logo. Let's see if I can get the light to shine on that just right. It's like a little camera when it says photo gallery. That's pretty sweet, actually. Mark McGuire, Andy Ashby, Mike Stanley, Carlos Baerga. Uh, the photo galleries, what were they? I said this. They were 1 in 30, so we were not guaranteed one of those in our box. So that's nice. Always fun to pull something a little rare. Larry Walker. It's a cool picture of him towering up his bat. Todd Goodwin for the Royals. Todd Green for the Angels. Eric Karros. Mike Piazza. Pete Shurik. <laughs> Yawning. I'm bored. Well, he's so bored because he appeared twice. That's why. And Jose Canseco. Yeah, I can't imagine that most ballplayers were like that excited to just get a, you know, hundred random cards in the mail all the same. But who knows? That's a nice Cal Ripken. Rico Bronia, Mets. Jimmy Haynes, Orioles. Lance Johnson, White Sox. Roger Clemens. Oh, we got one of the Mickey Mantle masterpieces. We got number one in the set. Don't know how many there are, but that's number one. That looks like a Topps Heritage card, kind of, except glossy. That's pretty nice, actually. Uh, the Mantle cards were, what were they? One in 48. So one in every other box. So we're doing pretty well. That was David Segui and Lenny Dykstra. Not sure there are many people collecting Lenny Dykstra cards anymore. Cecil Fielder for the Tigers. Raul Mondesi, Dodgers. Ray Ordonez, Mets. Chris Hoyles, Orioles. Joe Carter, Blue Jays. Rafael Palmeiro, Orioles. Paul Sorrento, Indians. And Tom Glavin for the Braves. Yeah, the mantle is super. The collation has been not so super. 
Tim Salmon, Angels. Ryan Klesko, Braves. Alex Cora, Mets. I'm telling you, the opening these packs just takes me right back to being a kid. Like these were all the names that I was pulling. Uh, Ricky Henderson. It's a nice Ricky Henderson card. Oh, there's a gorgeous Ken Griffey Jr. I haven't seen that one yet. I do like that. The Mariners. And I like the backs of these. Uh, the Masters, you get a couple of photos. It was good stuff. Here's our next uh, parallel. I might miss one, but this is the next one I've seen. Jeff Supon for the Red Sox, numbered 252. Trying to make that out there for the Red Sox. Slamming Sammy. He looks so skinny. Look how skinny he looks. And Rafael Palmero. All right, stack those over there. I don't think that the collation on this, Brian, is any worse, though, than a lot of, like, early, mid-90s stuff. Uh, 90s boxes are pretty notorious for bad collation. Dennis Eckersley again. Chuck Knobloch. Ray Durham. That's a cool Durham shot. It's like flying. Turn and double play. John Valentin. Rondell White. Ken Caminiti. Greg Vaughn and Heathcliff Slocum for the Phils. Yeah, it's not a huge set. Uh, I'm not actually sure how many cards are in the total set. The Masters are up in the 160, so maybe like 175 cards to 200, I'm guessing. I don't know. Joe Carter, Blue Jays. You guys expect I did research ahead of time. I did not. Frank Thomas. I'm such a sucker for Frank Thomas cards. Very nice. I like that one. Eric Owens for the Reds. Jack McDowell, Yankees. Jeff Bagwell. Kind of a cool Bagwell shot for the Astros. Mike Greenwell for the Red Sox. Jose Canseco. And Ron Gant. All right, 180 cards. I guess pretty close. Hey, we've got another Griffey. Same one as before, but it's a nice one. So if you're going to get duplicates, you might as well get duplicates of Griffey. Edgar Martinez. Roger Cedeno. Brian Jordan. That's a different Randy Johnson. The Masters. Dean Palmer for the Rangers. Lenny Dykstra again and Jose Mesa. For the Reds, Reggie Sanders. Will Clark, Rangers. Garrett Anderson. Angels, he looks like he is in pain on that picture. Mark Langston, Angels. Mike Mussina, local boy. Mike Stanley, Yankees. Tom Glavin, and Mike Greenwell. All righty, Juan Gonzalez. I don't know, is, is, is Pudge in this set? I feel like I keep pulling Juan Gonzalez. Eddie Murray, Esteban Loiza, Ramon Martinez, Paul O'Neill, Yankees. Oh, we've got an expressionist, Ken Griffey Jr. That's pretty sweet. Expressionist. And like a rainbow foil board effect going on there. Uh, these are seated one per box, one in 24 packs. So there you go, box hit. Not bad at all. Rafael Palmero and JT Snow. Yeah, that's a real nice Griffey. And at one per. One of the expressions per box, probably fairly difficult to pull the Griffey in particular. 
Greg Maddox, Gary Sheffield, Chipper Jones, Paul Molitor, uh, Albert Bell for the Indians. We've got another player private issue. This is Tony Clark for Detroit, numbered 652. Get the camera to focus. There we go. 652 for Detroit. <laughs> Yeah, I don't know. Uh, I love Junior Junkie's um, uh, uh, post where he kind of goes through a set and shows. I mean, because Griffey's just so so popular in so many sets, like he's in like practically every insert set. Um, I really enjoy those posts that he does. Denny Nagel for the Pirates and Frank Castillo for the Cubs. Uh, he may have done Topps Gallery. Uh, he kind of themed them. You know, he might do a couple years of Topps Gallery or Topps Heritage or whatever. I didn't see. If he did a top scholar, I missed it, but you know, I mean, this is only one per box. That's like nothing for him. I mean, he collects things, you know, he has like Griffey and, and Mickey Mantle dual autograph cards and stuff. Uh, I can't imagine that he wouldn't have a, a card like that, but you never know. I would have thought I had all of Barry Larkin's base cards from the mid nineties. And then I find out I'm missing like 97 stadium club or something, you know, basically worthless. So you never know. Eddie Murray, Indians, Chipper Jones, Braves, John Nunnally, Royals, Jeff Montgomery, Royals. There's Larry Walker again. I've seen that card before. Denny Nagel, Terry Pendleton in shorts. You don't see a lot of baseball players in shorts on baseball cards. This struck me as odd. Um, also, what strikes me as odd is Terry Pendleton as a Marlin. I do not remember that. And Paul Sorrento. I'm still looking for the pudge because uh, Ben's going to be disappointed in me if there's a single set goes by where it's possible to pull a pudge and I don't actually pull it. So I'm, I'm trying, Ben. Gary Sheffield, Ray Durham, John Mabry, Cardinals, Chuck Finley, there's Cal Ripken Jr. Another player private issue, this one going to the Pirates, Dan Maselli. Number 689, Pittsburgh. The Pirates getting in on the action. Don't know much about Dan Maselli, though. I do not remember him. Kind of a neat, modernist card design. Thematic. Lee Smith and Sammy Sosa. I know, right? That Pendleton's great. I just don't remember him as a, as a Marlin. Chuck Knobloch, Twins. Ricky Batalico, Phillies. Brooks Kiznik, Kiznik for the Cubbies. Alex Fernandez, White Sox. Cecil Fielder, Detroit. Roberto Alomar, Toronto. Dave Nelson, Brewers. And Mickey Tettleton for the Rangers. Three packs left. Yeah, anytime. Uh, there's a lot of rumors out there about certain cards that have been destroyed, or, you know, and then you find out they've been actually just backdoored. I mean, these are from packs, so these weren't backdoored, but yeah, it's hard to say. There's a nice, that's actually a nice Barry Bonds card. I want to skip over that. That's pretty nice for the Giants. Brian Hunter, Houston. There's a nice Derek Jeter, kind of reminiscent of his 93 card. Looks very young there. Tim Wakefield, Tim Salmon, Denny Nagel, John Olerud, and Jim Tomei. So like half that pack was new and half was repeat. Hey, I was wondering. I did know that there was a Larkin in this set that I'm pretty sure I do not own. There he is. Barry Larkin. Hideo Nomo. Chris Snowpeck for the White Sox. David Justice. Darren Dalton. Chad Curtis. Shane Reynolds. And Robin Ventura. 
All right, final pack. Yeah, that Jeter's nice. I don't even like Jeter, but it's a nice card. Matt Williams, Troy Percival, Ariel Prieto for the Athletics, Travis Fryman, Kenny Lofton, Derek Bell. Now well, the Ranger in there is Kenny Rogers and Devin White or Devon White. So there you have it. I don't think we got the pudge. I'm I'm very sorry, Ben. Uh, I feel like I always pull pudge, but all right, let me quickly sort these out here so I can highlight them. We ended up with four of the private issues: Jim Edmonds, Jeff Supon, Tony Clark, Dan Maselli. Number 689, 652, 252, and 450. So, yeah, two of our four were over 600. We had a uh, Topps Photo Gallery series winner, David Justice, for the Braves. We had the Expressionist, one per box, one in 24 pack, Ken Griffey Jr. And we pulled the Mickey Mantle Masterpiece, card number one in that set. So overall, uh, we did we did extremely well. We got one of every insert set that's possible. So you can't ask for more than that, really, except, I guess, a pudge. Uh, let me put these cards away, and then we'll get to our second box of the night. And I will get uh, group break recaps off of these boxes. I fell a little bit behind last week in doing my recap posts. Uh, I've got a recap post of the Dunruss box, I think it is, um, going live tomorrow. That one's written. Um, but then hopefully I'll start to get caught up. I still need to do the recap for the Fleer Showcase um, that we opened last week. And then I'll start working on um, this week's. So our last box for tonight is going to be this box of 20, 2002 Clear Focus Jersey Edition. And like I said, the box promises a memorabilia card, one in 24 packs. It also promises an oversized materialistic card. So that's our box topper. And then we've got all the packs. I'm going to pull the packs out first so I can get the box out of the way. So there's your empty box. All right. Uh, let's go ahead and do the box topper first because it just takes up a lot of space. Um, materialistic, away, oversized. 15 cards. Home oversized, numbered to 50, and lettermen are one of ones. So that's what we're looking at. Away are the most common. Home, numbered to 50, and lettermen are one of ones. And our oversized card is... a Pedro Martinez away card. So this, I didn't know what it was, is, that's what the back looks like. It's, it's cloth, that's cloth, and it's got Pedro printed on it. So it's not a relic, it kind of has like an almost 3D effect. It's definitely different. A little bit difficult to store, but that's going to Shane, so... Congratulations, Shane. Yeah, a couple of home and away. Uh, yeah, Leaf had the home and away insert set. Um, I don't think, if I recall correctly, uh, I don't think that one was rarer than the other. I might be wrong about that. But, yeah, that's kind of a natural, I guess it's a sort of natural thing. I don't know. It's only worse insert set ideas out there. Yeah, 
I agree uh, with the card back thing, Adam, for sure. Uh, also, uh, where card numbers should go on a card back. Um, they should not go in the bottom center. I forget what I was... I was just sorting something the other day, and all the card... Wow, this pack is just doesn't want to let me open it. Uh, all the... Um, all the cards, num like the set number, was in the middle bottom, and it was a nightmare to try to sort because there's no good way to stack those cards. All right, so I didn't actually know what this set looked like. I thought I did, and now I'm seeing the first card, and I was wrong. So this is Mark Mulder for the Athletics, a very upper deck looking clear card, I would say, if that makes sense. That's what the backs look like. Not bad, I guess. Marty Cordova for the Orioles. I do like that the backs are team colored, at least. So I make for a colorful binder. Charles Johnson, Marlins. Jim Edmonds, Cardinals. Uh, card numbers here, middle right, not my favorite spot. They really need to be up there, I think, or here. Those are the two spots I would vote for. We have a international diamond company, Jose Cruz, the Blue Jays. That's kind of cool, I guess. Celebrating Puerto Rican-born player. I like the diamond theme. Just sparkly foil, but eh, I like it. It's different. David Segui, Orioles. Marcus Giles, Braves. Steve Cox, Devil Rays. Adrian Beltre, Dodgers. And Carlos Pena, Athletics. There's your first pack. Uh, let's see if I can find. Do they have odds on here? They do. Um, the International Diamond Companies are 1 in 8 packs. King of Swing are 1 in 48. Larger Than Life are 1 in 240. K Core are 1 in 12. Blue Chips 1 in 6. Materialistic Away cards are 1 per box. And Home cards are numbered to 50. And then there's a bunch of like memorabilia things that are even rarer, which I won't bother reading off unless we actually pull something really rare like that. All right. Ramon Ortiz for the Angels. Raul, yeah, Raul Mondesi, Blue Jays. Frank Thomas rocking the, I guess, retro. Retro White Sox. I didn't recognize that version of their uniform. Sean Casey for the Reds. Pretty sure I don't have that card. Jose Hernandez, Brewers. Rafael Fercal, Braves. Jason Veritek. It's a nice Veritek card. Red Sox. Jeff Weaver for the Tigers. I name you here a lot. And Mark Burley, White Sox. Yeah, Beltre is one of those guys that's been around seemingly forever, or was around forever. Corey Patterson, Cubbies. Jermaine Dye, Athletics. Jim Tome, Indians. The other thing I'll say about these cards is the player name is so far down at the bottom, it's not good for group breakers. Jamie Wright, Brewers. We've got a rookie of Carlos Valder, Valderrama. I don't know if that's a real guy. Apparently it is. Uh, it's one of the rookie. I think it's a subset. Probably a short print. Marlon Anderson, Phillies. Daryl Ward, Astros. Brady Anderson, Indians. Mike Hampton, Rockies. And Alex Rodriguez, Rangers. Kind of like creepy, washed-out catcher in the background. Very ghostly looking on that one. 
or the Alex Rodriguez. This is another one of those sets that just has passed me by. I don't recognize any of these cards. Eric Milton. Uh, that was a twin. Pat Hankin, Orioles. Cleveland Indians get Russell Brannion. Scott Schoenweiss for the Angels. Another rookie, Sean Burroughs, Padres. Jason Schmidt, Giants. Bud Smith, Cardinals. Fred McGriff, Cubs. There's Jason Veritek again, and John Vanderwall. I wonder if these cards weren't, like, are they, this is hobby. This is a hobby box, so maybe they were, I don't know. I guess I wasn't going to hobby stores in 2002. C.C. Sabathia, Indians. David Ortiz, Twins. Carlos Delgado, Blue Jays. It's a perfectly fine set. Tino Martinez, Cardinals. Uh, Andrew Jones, Braves. Javi Lopez, Braves. Brian Giles, Pittsburgh. Daryl Ward, Astros. Roy Oswalt, Astros. And Mark Burley for the White Sox. It's just, I would say this is a fairly standard looking Fleer set for early 2000s. And I don't mean that negatively. I, I like a lot of Fleer stuff from that era. Has a little bit too much leans into the upper deck style, which maybe is a slight strike against it, but it's not bad. Gabe Kapler, Rangers. Richard Hidalgo, Astros. Russ Ortiz, Giants. Greg Maddox, Braves. We have another international diamond company, this being... Uh, Suyoshi Shinju for the Giants. Those are kind of cool. David Wells, Yankees. Jeff Cirillo, Mariners. Brady Anderson, Indians. Joe Creedy, White Sox. Esteban Loiza, Blue Jays. And a checklist of what appears to be mostly the inserts. Jordan says, John Vanderwall goes in the Hall of Obscure Yankees alongside Wilson Bediment, Cody Ransom, and Ronald Torres. Torres? Torres? Uh, I've heard of the first two on your list, Ransom and Bediment. I don't know. I don't think I know Ronald Torres. Doug Davis. I wouldn't have known they were all Yankees, though. I just heard names at some point. Juan Pierre for the Rockies. Darren Fletcher, Blue Jays. Chan Ho Park, Rangers. Ben Petrick, Rockies. Kenny Lofton, White Sox. Sign an autograph. Pokey Reese as a Pirate. Mike Lieberthal, Phillies. And do you like Mike Lieberthal? Because there he is again for the Phillies, back-to-back. -back. And of course, Tim Salmon wouldn't be a wouldn't be a group break without Tim Salmon showing up a couple times. We pulled him at least once, maybe more than once in the last box as well. Jeffrey Hammonds, Brewers. Jason LaRue, Reds. Bruce Chen, Expos. The Marlins get on the board with Mike Lowell. We've got a Blue Chips. Hank Blaylock for the Rangers. And this is shaped like a credit card with the rounded corners. There you go, Ben. Hank Blaylock, blue chips. Um, Pack Rapper says blue chips were one in one in six packs. We should pull another one, a couple of those. Aaron Seeley, Angels. Lee Stevens, Expos. Aramis Ramirez Pirates, Josh Beckett Marlins, and Troy Gloss for the Angels. Yeah, the blue chips are cool. I mean, Fleer did good in they weren't as creative as or I should say they weren't as off the wall crazy as Pacific, but I think Fleer is second place in most creative inserts. Um, 
especially for the, around this era. They have a lot of really cool die cut stuff. Uh, some of it's really rare and hard to get, but they definitely have some really cool designs. Kevin Young, Pirates. Mark Mulder, Athletics. Marty Cordova, Orioles. Kevin Brown for the Dodgers. Austin Kearns, rookie for the Reds. Boy, Kearns was supposed to be so good, and he just never, never quite made it. A.J. Burnett, Marlins. Chris Benson, Pirates. Ben Sheets, Brewers. Ben Davis, Mariners. And Esteban Loiza for the Blue Jays. And then there's the base set checklist card. Almost halfway through. Again, we should get a relic in here somewhere. Corey Koski, Twins. Brandon Duckworth, Phillies. Rich Aurelia, Giants. Tim Wakefield, Red Sox. Tony Womack, Diamondbacks. Nice picture of him bunting, staring the ball down. I like that card, actually. That's a good one. Wiki Gonzalez for the Padres. I do not remember him. Ryan Klesko for the Padres. I do remember him. Fernando Tatis as an expo. Jimmy Rollins. And Troy Gloss. Yeah, A.J. Burnett was a beast there for a little bit. He was, he was not, he's not to be trifled with. Kind of a, I guess he had a long-ish career, but a couple of couple of good seasons. David Justice, Athletics. Jose Cruz, Blue Jays. Todd Helton, Rockies. Jeff Kent, Giants. I've got another blue chip, Albert Pujols for the Cardinals. Back of that one. Going to St. Louis. He's going to Cary. I don't know if Cary's here tonight, but there you go, Cary. Jeff Supon, Royals. Armas Ramirez, Pittsburgh. There he is again. I don't know what's up with the same card back-to-back -back in the same pack. I hate that. And Paul LaDuca. It bothers me slightly less getting duplicates in a box. I mean, ostensibly, the idea is this is a hobby box. You open it up, you sell packs to people coming in the store. Less of a big deal. But you don't want duplicates within the same pack. That's There's just no excuse for that. Jorge Posada, Yankees. Jamie Moyer, Mariners. Sticking a little bit. There we go. Bobby Higginson, Tigers. Craig Biggio, Astros. We've got a K Core. Tim Hudson for the Oakland Athletics. Again, I like the team coloring. Dave Roberts, Dodgers. Orlando Cabrera, Expos. Jason Veritek, Red Sox. Roy Oswald, Astros, and John Vanderwall. There he is again for the Yankees. All right, that's your first half. Second half, here we go. Well, that might have been the first pack of the second half. I don't remember. But basically, second half, here we go. And just like the start of the first pack, the first half, I can't get into this one. There we go. We have Jason Kendall. Jason Kendall makes some really good uh, catcher in gear cards. Mo Vaughn, Paul Canerco for the White Sox. Freddy Garcia, Mariners. Looks like we have another insert here. We do. A K core of Kevin Brown for the Dodgers. Demetri Young, Tigers. Pat Burrell, Phillies, Steve Cox, Rays, Mike Hampton for the Rockies, and Richie Sexton for the Brewers. Yeah, a little bit of deja vu with some of these packs and the collation issues. Again, this is not a big set, though. Um, in fairness, the base set is only 225 cards, and we're getting 10 packs. Of, uh, sorry, we're getting 24 packs with 10 cards per pack. So, you know. 
you're you're likely now there are uh, the base sets a bit longer with the rookies but they're they are uh, uh, short printed here so this one has our hit i saw it you might have seen it already so we'll just open i wasn't paying attention dean palmer tigers denny nagel rockies cliff floyd marlins and there's our blue chips relic uh i think those were one of the i think that's a slightly rarer one uh let's see if i can't find it quickly here Yeah, blue chips are one in ninety-six packs. So that's actually a fairly rare relic card. Not numbered on the back or anything, but that's Nick Johnson of the Yankees. Game worn jersey. There you go. For the Yankees. That's pretty sweet. Brian Jordan. Dodgers. Bobby Brayu Phillies. I don't know if Jordan was still here, but that was uh, Jordan had said he liked the blue chips. How about a blue chip relic? Sean Estes Mets. And oh, two more here. Joe Randa Royals. Carlos Pena Athletics. Yeah, I mean, you know, it's a, I don't know, is this his rookie year? I'm assuming he was a rookie of Blue Chips. Seems like it should be rookie themed. But still, it is one of the rarer relic types. Uh, it's, not, it's not the common one. Jay Gibbons, Orioles. D. Brown, Royals. Edgar Martinez, Mariners. Greg Vaughn, Devil Rays. AKA just the Rays now. Our upside down card is Jeremy Lambert for the Cardinals. Don't remember him either. Alex Ochoa, Brewers. Larry Walker for the Rockies. Jeff Weaver, Tigers. Steve Cox, Rays. And Adrian Beltre for the Dodgers. <laughs> hey, you say you like blue chip cards i pull you a blue chip rock you know i aim to please you, you didn't specify so i can't be blamed that's a nice ken griffey jr for my reds phil nevin padres jared washburn angels todd walker reds and suck todd walker is a rookie of masahisa ishi Al lighter mets bubba trammell padres Kerry Wood, Cubs, Paul LaDuca, Dodgers, and Doug McCavich for the Twins. There are numbered parallels of base cards. They look the same on the front. All right, I will go through the backs then in just a second. Did not know that. Kevin Young, Pirates. We'll see if we pulled one. Tim Hudson, Athletics. Matt Lawton, Indians. Shannon Stewart, Blue Jays. Uh, rookie of Sean Burroughs. Also for the Padres, Mark Kotze, Derek Lee, Marlins, Carlos Lee, White Sox, Brian Giles, Pirates, and Joe Randa for the Royals. Uh, so I'm assuming they'd be numbered at the bottom. If we have, they're very color. Oh, there we go. So that Sean Burroughs rookie was numbered. Thank you for alerting me. 30 out of a, only 121. So there's a numbered card. Let's see if we can't find any others. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Look how beautiful the card backs are, though, when you just have them all in a pile. I'm a fan of that. That's nice. Very, very nice. Trying to quickly sort through and look for any more numbered cards. Wouldn't expect we'd get a lot of them. But, oh, there's another one. Numbered 88 out of 100. 
That one's out of 121. This one's out of 106. 88 out of 106. The Ben Petrick for the Rockies. Well, that's two that we found. Thank you for alerting me. I guess it wouldn't hurt if I actually did research ahead of time, huh? That's what all my group break watchers are for, though. You guys are way ahead of me. I wonder if I didn't show that one off. It was upside down. Aubrey Huff. Almost done. Let's just sort through this last stack, and then I'll try to flip over each pack for the rest of the way. Print run is based on the jersey number. So 100 plus the jersey number, maybe? I don't know. I don't really like when they do print runs based on jersey numbers. It doesn't mean much to me. And being a very Larkin collector, his jersey number, of course, is 11. So it usually meant that anything numbered to his jersey number was going to be way too, way too rare for me to have any hope of acquiring. So maybe I'm just selfishly better on that. I'm not seeing any more numbered cards here, but we'll go through the last few just in case. Did end up with two. So it was worth taking the time. Yep, so that's it. So we had the two. So far. All right, let's keep going. So thank you, uh, Brian, for bringing that to my attention. Not actually know that. John Lieber for the Cubs. Jason Giambi, Yankees. Luis Gonzalez, Diamondbacks. Mike Sweeney, Royals. Lance Berkman, Astros. Steve Finley, Diamondbacks. Scott Erickson, Orioles. Andy Pettit, Yankees. Ben Davis, Mariners. And Richie Sexton, Brewers. I do have to ask, since the fronts are basically indistinguishable from what I can tell, uh, when you have a numbered card, what's the point? I mean, all they're doing is slapping a number on the back. Or is it... No, you know what? They have like a gold or a bronze tin tint to them. Like the rest of these have a silver up here. I just didn't notice it because it's pretty easy to miss. But then those have a bronze up at the top and the bottom for that matter. So there is a slight difference on the card fronts. It would appear. Yeah, well, Donner's uh, serial numbering is just goofy. I mean, they, they like to do, you know, their stat line, which they've done forever. Hey, look what I found. I found a Von Rodriguez. It's that guy. It's a nice looking card too. Very colorful. So there you go. Found a pudge. I'm back. I'm back, baby. JD Drew, Christian Guzman, Damian Easley for the Tigers. We've got a blue chip of Juan Pierre, Rockies. Robert Person for the Phillies. Robin Ventura, Yankees. Terrence Long, Athletics. Ben Sheets for the Brewers. And Eric Chavez for the Athletics. I am now just flipping them over and searching just to be safe, but I think we see how to catch them ahead of time if there are any more numbered cards in here. Next pack. This pack feels thick. I think we might have a second... We have something in there. We'll get to it. Edgar Renteria, Cardinals. Rondell White, Yankees. Hideo Nomo, Dodgers. Mike Cameron, Mariners. And we have a materialistic card of Ken Griffey. 
the Reds. This is another, it's kind of like the oversized card, except regular sized printed on there. Pretty blurry. I mean, there's obviously there's a blur effect, but the actual image kind of hard to make out. But that's pretty cool. I don't own it. So I'll take it. It's an away. So that'd be the common version. Ben Petrick Rockies, Matt Morris Cardinals, Fred McGriff Cubs, Jimmy Rollins, Phillies, and Keith Folk, White Sox. One good thing about being a Reds collector around the late or the early 2000s is Griffey starts to show up in packs as a Red. Now he seems to be, you know, oh, I didn't look to see. I don't think we had any silver backs here, but I'll just look. Um, now Griffey seems to be showing up in all the retro stuff almost always as a Mariner, which is fair. He had his best years as a Mariner. I can't, can't begrudge companies for picturing him that way, but it is nice to get him as a Red. Mike Piazza, Mets, Vernon Wells, Blue Jays, Magli Ordonez, White Sox, Gary Sheffield for the Braves. We've got a Chris Booker rookie. This one is a silver, but not numbered, or a gold, bronze, I don't know. So clearly I haven't quite figured out how this works. Daryl Kyle Cardinals, Rich Garces, Red Sox. do not remember him. It's a big boy, though. Ben Sheets, Brady Anderson as an Indian, and Joe Creedy for the White Sox on the checklist. Just, we'll just do it this way because it's just as quick. Nothing. No more number cards. Yeah, the name focus. You're probably not wrong. Clear was pretty thematic. Kind of like the magic eyes, but for baseball cards. All righty, John Olrood, Mariners, Johnny Damon, Red Sox, Eric Karos, Dodgers, David Eckstein, Angels, Mark Grace, Diamondbacks, Matt Williams, Diamondbacks, Scott Rowland, Phillies, Mike Lieberthal, Phillies, Tim Salmon, Angels, and Eric Chavez, Athletics. And we'll just double check each pack from here on out. Again, love the colors on the back. Two more packs for tonight. This ended up being a bit longer than I thought. We had a lot of cards to go through. Todd Hollinsworth, Rockies. Peter Bergeron, Expos. Javier Vasquez, Expos. Jeremy Burnett's Mets. Another blue chip, Jimmy Rollins, Phillies. It's pretty nice. Blue, I, I do like the blue chips. They're very credit cardy. I'm sure that's a proper word. Joe Kennedy, Rays, Adam Dunn, Reds, Andy Pettit, Yankees, Fred McGriff, Cubs, and Keith Folk, White Sox. And your final pack for tonight. And then, like I said, we've got two more Knights of Breakers Club still. Uh, so quite a few boxes to get through. I think we have five more boxes still, not counting the victory, which we're still not done with. Melvin Mora, Orioles. Jeff Jenkins, Brewers. Carlos Beltran, Royals. Jock Jones, Twins. We've got another one of these diamond, international diamond companies. Edgar Martinez for the Mariners. Uh, Chuck Knobloch, Royals, Tony Bautista, Orioles, Brian Giles, Pirates, Josh Beckett, Marlins, and your final card is Doug McAvich of the Twins. Let me just double check that we don't have any more serial and numbered parallels. Probably two per box would be about right, I would guess. So that looks like what we had. Uh, so we ended up with the two parallels, it appears. Ben Petrick numbered out of 106, uh, 88 out of 106 in particular, for the Rockies. And for the Padres, Sean Burroughs numbered 30 out of 121. Excuse me. And then our inserts and other things. We've got Edgar Martinez, Jimmy Rollins, our materialistic focus of Griffey, Juan Pierre, 
Our relic was a Nick Johnson blue chips. K core of Kevin Brown, K core of Tim Hudson, Albert Pujols, Hank Blaylock, Shin uh, Siyoshi Sinju, and Jose Cruz. And that does it. That's the break. Yeah, the sticking took a little bit of extra time to try to carefully pry the card. They didn't actually appear to be damaged. That's the good news. They just were kind of bricked up a bit. Uh, but kind of gets you. Oh, I forgot we had the box topper. I should show that again as well. The giant Pedro materialistic card. Also an away card, so not numbered. And that's uh, that's the break tonight. We've got some good stuff coming up still. Um, we still have a box of 2021 opening day. I've got a box of Fleer. And then I think, I think there's two playoff boxes, which usually are full of hits. They're usually pretty fun to open. Um, so, yeah, we still have some good stuff coming up. Um, like I said, if you're thinking you might be interested in another edition of Breakers Club, let me know. I had a couple people kind of at the beginning – maybe indicate they like it. Um, if so, I think I should probably start looking for some product. I am basically out of, not basically, I think I am completely out of uh, boxes. Um, so I'll have to I'll have to look for, for some new boxes, but uh, something similar. Um, the other thing is I don't, I, I keep trying to find mostly like non-repeat boxes. Um, which I assume assume people would prefer. Uh, so I'll, I'll try to kind of keep things fresh. Of course, we have different people joining each time. So, you know, it's not necessarily the worst thing to have a couple that are the same as, you know, a previous break. But I'll try to try to keep it mostly fresh. There's certainly enough different sets out there that that should be uh, something that I can do. Um, but, yeah, if you're interested, let me know. Um, but otherwise, have a good night, everybody. I'm, uh, I'm out for tonight. Thanks for watching. Certainly appreciate it. And I'll be talking to you guys soon.